In this short little tutorial, I will show you how to create clay wireframe renders in Blender. I think at the moment there are about three ways to do this, but two of them have their limitations. And today I will show you one that works for me. Just for comparison, I will quickly show you the other methods as well. Um, the first one is by using the wireframe node. So let's add a new material right here. And to your principled setup, just search by shift, shift, um, pressing A um, for wireframe. There is a new node called wireframe. Now let's shift control click it and uh, there we have it. With its size value I think you can change the, the thickness of these edges. And now you have a very fine wireframe. Um, now let's shift A, add a mix RGB node to, um, to be able to control the color and to make this clay overlay effect. And um, yeah, I think now let's plug this right into the base color. Let's have, have a look at how this looks and plug this one into the factor. And now you can change its values and make something like this or just invert it and make it like this. Um, let's increase the size of this one. If we now have a closer look at our, our model, um, we, we can see it works uh, quite well. It's, it's very lightweight, it was very easy to set up, but um, it just works with triangles. It doesn't display your quad um, mesh and um, that's the thing you want to, want to render most of the time. So um, this method isn't great for that, but um, there is an alternative. And uh, for this, let us delete these wireframes he right here, go into the modifier panel and add a wireframe modifier. Well, this is the way to create um, uh, the wireframe in, in, a, in a physical accurate way. So it just selects the edges and creates the wireframe for us. Um, as you can see, the shadows are rendered correctly as well. Um, this is great. Now we could duplicate, simply duplicate our 3D model, delete the wireframe from here and select our top wireframe and give it a, a different material, make it a bit darker. And let's change the thickness. And now we would have uh, our wireframe as well. This technique is great, it works very easy, but um, it is, um, for example, in, in very large, uh, large scenes where you have a lot of objects, com complex of objects, it is quite intense and quite heavily um, for your processor. So it, it, it takes a lot of time to render this. Um, yes, it is physically accurate. It calculates the right shadows, but it's very heavy. So now, finally, I will show you the, the last, the third alternative, which is the best one, um, I think. And um, for this, you don't need another object or anything. It works uh, quite well. So let's go into our object and delete this one. Let's take this one, let's make it white again. Okay, now to create this effect, it's very easy. Um, go to your modifier panel and add a bevel modifier. Um, select, uh, set everything like it is uh, right here. Um, uh, width type uh, should be offset. The amount should be rather small. So let's make it 0.001. Um, very important, keep the segments count to one and set the limitation method to none. This will um, select every edge and make a bevel at every edge in your 3D model. Um, now to make this effect visible, go into your shading segment right here and set the material index to one. And um, very uh, important, go into your material settings and add a second material to your object. Um, create a new material and now set the base color to something you like and now you can see since we set the the segment segment um, the material uh, index to one it, ch it chooses the, the the second material for all the bevels which are created and this works um, without a second mesh this works just with quads and um, now let's go back and um, now it's a bit, a bit difficult at the moment to modify the thickness, to modify the color. There's a the workaround, a workaround um, around this. Um, just the, select our object, go into your material settings and select the, the darker, the line material. And scroll right down until you go to the get to the material settings. And set your pass index to one. 
Now go into your render settings right here and go to passes and make sure to enable material index. This will render as a separate mat for every material right here. Um, and now let's do exactly this. Uh, let's press F12 and render our frame. Okay, now that that's done, let's close this window and go to our compositing tab. Let's make this a bit larger. And in here you see uh, to our render layer, there are not just these standard properties, but there uh, is now an index MA property. And if we, if we have a look at this output, we see it's essentially a mat of our, um, of our lines, since these are represented by our material pass index we said earlier. Um, and now to change the color and thickness of this one, let's get a mix node and let's set our factor to these uh, to this index MA. Let's set our image and now let's have a look at this. Now you can see um, uh, the white color, the color below here is um, is overlaid uh, wherever there is our um, matte uh, uh, white, our index matte. And um, yeah, now we can change the color right here. Make it a bit darker, give it a, a color as you want. You're completely free to do whatever you want. I think this is a bit, bit easier than uh, just doing it through the material settings. But there's a second benefit to this, um, and that is that we can change the thickness of these lines. To do this, press Shift A and search for Dilate and Erode. Let's take this node and plug it right in between Index MA and our Mix node. And with that selected, let's change the mode to Feather. We can now increase the distance and that this will um, essentially make our, our lines thicker. What happens right here is um, the choke, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the dilate erode node um, just um, makes um, the mat, everything uh, what's, what's white uh, gets made uh, larger and everything that's black um, uh, is overlaid. Um, and right in here you can now change the thickness can even go below zero with the thickness with the distance right here and this will make very fine lines. With that done, thanks for watching and uh, try out this effect for yourself. If you have any questions left, just ask me in the comments below um, and see you next time.